Dear students, in today's session we are going to solve problems on Spearman rank correlation coefficient. In the previous video, we have solved problems using Carl Pearson method. So why we need this method? Carl Pearson method can be only applied for the quantitative data. For example, height of the student, weight of the student, marks of the students in the class, etc. 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 When the data is qualitative, for example, smell of a flower, taste of a fruit, beauty of a nature. For this qualitative data, Carl Pearson method cannot be applied. So, how to find the correlation coefficient when the qualitative data is given? We are going to take the rank of the data and we are going to calculate the correlation for the two different items. So, that's why we stick on to Spearman rank correlation coefficient method. Let's go into the video. As I said, it is only applied for the qualitative assessment, not for the quantitative assessment. So, here also we use the same notation. The formula is going to be R is equal to 1 minus 6 times summation d square n cube minus n. So, di is going to be the difference between the ranks of xi and yi. For two given data, first of all we are going to create the rank in descending order and we are going to take the difference between two ranks. It is going to be my di. n is as usual number of items. So, here also the correlation lies between minus 1 to 1. When the ranks are same, we say R is equal to 1. Now, there is a issue. When we do the ranking, it is need not to be always different. For example, in a class, 4 or 5 students may get 100 out of 100. 4 or 5 students may get 30. 10 students will get 80. Now, when you do the rank for a subject, it need not to be non-repeated. Sometime it is non-repeated. Sometime it is repeated. When the rank is repeated, what we are going to do? We are going to do the correction factor. So, the correction factor we mention it as CF. Now, if the rank is repeated three times, for example, 80 is repeated thrice. So, I am going to take M is equal to 3 and I am going to use the formula m cube minus m by 12 and I am going to find the correction factor. In the same problem, if I have more repeated values, I am going to take it as correction factor 1, correction factor 2, correction factor 3, etc. And I am going to find all the correction factor and I am going to add with d square. So, my formula will be changed like this. So, I am going to add all the correction factors with my summation d square. But in the case of non-repeated ranks, there is no correction factor because the ranks are not repeated. All the correction factors are 0. Now, let us go into the problem for the first kind, non-repeated ranks. First of all, before you solve the question, read the question thorough. If you see any word rank, then you have to go for Spearman rank correlation method. If there is no word mentioned rank, then always we have to stick into Carl Pearson method. Okay. Let us see into the problem. It is very open. Find the rank correlation coefficient for the following data. Here it is very important whether data is given or rank is given. If rank is given, the problem is going to be very very simple. Just like that you can solve. If data is given, we add extra additional task. First to find the rank, then we have to proceed. Okay, let us do this problem. We are going to find the rank correlation between the two variables x and y. So, the formula is going to be 1 minus 6 times summation d square over n cube minus n. Also, you should be very careful. n you have to count from one variable. You should not count from the both the variables. So, my n is going to be 8 here. 
DA is going to be the difference from two ranks XI and YI. Okay. So now, first of all, make a table like this. First column is X, second column is Y. Rank R1. Rank R1 represents rank in X. Rank R2 represents rank in Y. It is always not necessary to take R1 from X because we are going to find D square. So whether you subtract ranks of X with Y or Y with X, it is always going to be positive when you square it. As I said earlier, we have to give the rank in descending order for X and then for Y. So now it is easy. I can give the rank one by one. None of the rank is repeated. Similarly, now I have to give the rank for Y variables. So the rank is going to be filled in the table. Now our next task to find D. Just subtract R1 with R2. Finally, I have to take the square of each terms in the D and finally make the summation over D square. It is going to be 160. So the problem almost over here. Because I know summation D square, I know N is my 8. Now I have to find the rank correlation. So just simply substitute the value, use your calculator, find the correlation. So since R is going to be minus 0 0.9048, I can say X and Y are negatively correlated. Also, the correlation is very high in the sense of negative. They travel in the opposite direction. Okay, next. You see this problem. This is going to be very, very easy. So here N is equal to 10. Read the problem very careful. The following ranks obtained by 10 students. So, this is rank in statistics. This is rank in max. So, rank is given directly. So, I don't want to find the rank. So, just simply go to the table, write rank in statistics, rank in mathematics, find D, D square and then substitute the values in the problem. So, it is going to be very easy. So, the important thing is you have to open your eyes and check whether the problem is on rank or not. If your rank is mentioned, the second thing you have to check whether the data is given to you or the rank is directly given to you. Sometimes they can give directly like this also. This is very open. Rank in X, rank in Y. You have to do in the similar way and find the correlation. And the end of the correlation, you have to write the decision. They are positively correlated. Highly positively correlated, perfect positive correlation, whatever according to your solution. Thank you guys. In the next session, it's more interesting. We are going to see what will happen when the ranks are repeated. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.